if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, I'm back uh, in Iowa visiting my dad, and man, what a great opportunity here. He uh, was digging out his compressor and going to fill up his tires. We just finally had breakfast for the first time together in person in four years, and it is stinking cold in Iowa. And I remember why I don't miss this, but I was just getting the chance. My pops, he even sees you know, our videos and stuff, and tires were low so I was showing him the uh, uh, the tire pump and show him just how awesome it is that you just hook it up, walk away from it, set the presets and if you hadn't seen our original video where we did a review on this, this would be more of a long term review I guess you could say now. I, I can't tell you how many tires I filled with this, this thing and then on my way up here I finally had the battery drained down and I needed to use the, the outlet adapter. Let me just show you that clip quick and you see it in action. Hey friends, I'm out traveling and I actually just uh, camped at a rest area here. Uh, been doing some videos on what I've been doing. But anyway, my tires showed low this morning. Two of them did. So I'm using that air pump I showed you guys before. And the interesting thing about this is that uh, the, they, they rate this for auto tires and light truck or whatnot, but I noticed it was taking a really long time to take my back tire from 31 to get it to 39. And uh, these just cold temperatures. I think the sensors, it was 26 degrees here last night, seemed to be off because they were fine before. I'm not seeing any leaks, but two of my tires were showing 31 just now. So I thought I'd take advantage of airing this up. And the battery uh, was getting low. I filled a few tires uh, in the shop before I left. So at 31 on the back, it drained down two bars to get from 31 to 39 on the back tire. So when I got here, I just didn't want to be inconvenient. So I plugged it into that, uh, I think it's an 11 or 12 foot cord. And man, it just seems like the motor's honking along quite a bit faster. So I want to give you an update on that. Uh, things have been just working great. But I gotta say, uh, every time I've used it, it's only been on battery only and doing motorcycle tires. So on these auto applications, I think this, uh, like I said, 11 or 12 foot cable is going to be a total game changer. Let's see. Uh, I believe my tire sensors, even when I get tires, I think you always have to drive it a bit to get them to... Uh, no, that back one already adjusted. It was at 31. I put 39 at that pump. Now it's saying 38. You always seem to be most accurate after uh, driving for a bit. So this one uh, was, was reading 34, so... Once I hooked up the pump on, it was like 34.5. It seemed to be about half PSI off. So that, that's pretty dang close to what these sensors are reading on the truck. Anyway, I thought you'd appreciate that uh, long, or, you know, I don't know if I'd say long term. I've had the thing for a month now and just been in love with it. It's just been absolutely unbelievable at the track uh, for just, you know, uh, playing around even with Moto Gymkhana, wanting to play with tire pressures and not being afraid at the the parking lot to knock them down knock them up uh knock them down and raise them up uh and then at the track case of big track too it's just i love this thing so if you if you haven't seen one of these you might want to get one for yourself because they're crazy inexpensive i'll put the link below uh in the video like always so you can get one for yourself but auto and i would guess on my camper i'm going to run into the same situation i use some my on my rv trailer tires though they're quite a bit smaller obviously and I thought it worked great. Maybe I had more patience that day than I did today. I just want to get back on the road and get home. So anyway, let me know if you bought one of these. I'm curious. Put in the comments below. The automotive tires are obviously going to take more than I used them on the motorcycle and the camper tires, but things just working awesome. So this thing's been going for probably about two minutes now. It's at 26 PSI. It's up to 32. The battery hasn't even been phased. Um, Things just awesome. If you didn't see the original uh, video on this, it has a flashlight, it has a 6,000 uh, milliamp battery in there so you can charge all your phones and headphones and any of your USB devices. This is where that cord plugs in from uh, the 12 volt accessory, and then this is where you charge it. Uh, but you just preset it and it just shuts off, you know? So, like, even right now, if I wanted to take this down, and uh, you can see here I'm over. 
overcharged on this and it just, it, it shut off. But if I say, no, I want 33, hit start, it's gonna go and then it'll just shut off once it hits that. So, pretty cool target points. The other thing this has, if you didn't see, it has different modes. So I could toggle through here and it'll go through a selection so I could have a car, a bicycle, like inflatables around the house, pretty cool. This SOS is turned off the turn by flashlight, on and off, you can do an SOS and blinking light. Man, check out the Amazon link below for how inexpensive this thing is. It is simply just stupid cool. Comes with uh, extra fuse and adapters to fill your toys, a little carry bag. Um, love it, love it. I want to show you real quick, dad's uh, finishing up and uh, just fine tuning the tires and double checking things here. But uh, to take those four tires from 25 PSI to 32 and 33s, we went 33s all the way and then just knocking it down. A little easier to take air out than to add it. But uh, we uh, went down to one bar. So not too shabby to be able to do all four of those. What do you think, Dad? Do you think you need one of these in your uh, car? Yeah. Christmas Christmas is coming, you know. Christmas <laughs> is coming. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, links below. Dad and I just got back from breakfast for the first time in four years. We're going to keep hanging out. It's awesome to be home. So, as always, make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make it a great day. And keep wrenching, my friends.